So I know it's been a little while since I posted a video, but today I wanted to take you with me on this journey to attempt to fix this lens right here. So this is the Sony 135mm G Master and I just recently returned on a trip from Kenya and I brought this lens with me to help shoot an ultra marathon. Anyway, while I was riding one of the vehicles over there, it was the roads were really rough and we were bouncing around and it snapped off this uh, item, it's called the filter screw block assembly. When I looked into it more, it looks like it's gonna be a little bit of a detailed repair. I looked on YouTube to see if there are any videos and I really couldn't find much. I did find a disassembly video from Lens Rentals from when they did the initial breakdown and look at this lens. So I went ahead and looked at that a little bit and I thought today I'd try to do this repair on camera so that if one of you are having to do something similar, maybe you at least got a feel for what's involved with that. Now, I have done some mechanical stuff in the past, but I've never worked on a lens before, so that's kind of new. It looks like this piece right here is like a rubber ring that we should be able to get loose and hopefully pull off around the lens. So we're gonna see how that goes. But uh, anyway, I don't have a lot of special tools with me, but I've got some basic tools that I've used for fixing my phones before, replacing batteries, and then I've got some different uh, smaller specialty screwdrivers, and that's really about what I've got here to work with. So let's see what we can do. All right. So what I notice is this front lens element protrudes past this ring. So now that this filter block assembly is broken off, I've got to be really careful setting this down to make sure I don't scratch the front element. Uh, but first, I think I'm going to see if I can use some of these little wedge tools to hopefully get that ring loose. This is like a $2,000 lens, which always makes me a little bit nervous, but gotta be a way to get this loose. Just gotta see if I can dig up underneath this ring to get it started. There we go. Oh, yep, that's all it is, it's just a little rubber ring. This is the focus ring if you're using this lens in the manual focus mode. got that off this is the little focus ring here doesn't really look like it's directional but I'll try to keep it the way I pulled it off now under this I think this is like a sealing tape and from what I was reading it sounds like if you can remove this carefully you can get it to re-adhere and not have to replace it so that's what we're gonna hope for today there we go all right so it looks like it's peeling back pretty good Straightforward so far. Okay. Alright, we got that loose. You can kind of see where that started and ended there. Just try to pay attention as I'm taking it apart. But there's a little like ridge there, so it started right at the edge of that and ended right in front of it. Now, oh, this ring turns. So there we go. I think what we have to do is find these screws here. Uh, let's see, it looks like it's a small Phillips. So I was looking at this lens repair and when I was looking online, it sounded like it was gonna be like a four or $500 repair. And I was just like, wow, just to replace this ring element piece that broke off, it just seemed kind of like a lot to me. Okay, there's one. So I was like, how difficult could this be? Hopefully I'm getting the correct screws. So I noticed that there's these darker screws and these lighter screws. So I'm starting with just taking out these darker screws. There should be four of them. There we go. There's the third one. I probably should have done a little bit more homework before I took this apart. I looked at the article like several weeks ago and then didn't look at it real closely recently. All right, so I'm just gonna take a look here at this new fil screw, filter screw assembly. So just out of curiosity, in case you're wondering, 
I looked around. There's not that many places to order the part from. Uh, I think I think I ended up going with eBay, and I think it was $158 for this replacement part. So I just want to look at it a little closer to see where the screws are at on this. Okay. So I probably do need that silver screw because it was close to the other dark screw. Screws, so there's one here, one here, and then there's two here. Now it looks like three of them are recessed and then the fourth isn't, which I'm guessing is that light silver screw I saw when I spun this around. So we're gonna see if we can find it again. So I have to say, initially I was a bit intimidated about trying to do this repair, but I felt a little bit better after I found that article, but Okay, there's the four screw. Okay. Now from looking at this and from what I read, there's a, another little like notch or groove here on these uh, little tabs. And I think what it does is it probably twists and comes off. Oh, there we go. Whoop, and there's a little O-ring that popped out. So I don't know if you can see that there. There's this blue o-ring that seals the front, I guess you call it lens element. So darn. Thing popped out. Hopefully it won't be too much of a pain to get it to slide back in there. And try to hold it down on the sides and then retuck it as I bring it around. Definitely do not want to break it. That would uh, set us back and having to get a replacement one. Oh, the other side popped off. Okay, okay, this is gonna be fun. So when I looked at that article on lens rentals, I did see a picture that showed this O-ring. What I'm trying to do here, hopefully my head isn't blocking your view too much. Oh, I think we got it back on there. Trying to reseat it there. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right, so here we got the new piece. There's the old piece where it came apart. So basically what happened on the old one is that inner ring broke off. that had the filter thread on it. So now I think I need to refine. Okay, there's one hole. Two, okay, these are the two holes where, so I'm gonna use that as the, help me get, to help me get close to the alignment there. Okay, so it's sitting on there, but it's not seated all the way. I don't know if I need to spin it one way or the other. There we go that just dropped in there. Okay, so that hole lines up. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start the one screw, which was that silver one that wasn't recessed, first. Now what I'm doing is I'm not fully tightening those screws down yet until I get them all threaded in. Because my thought being, uh, if I snugged it down and it wasn't perfectly lined up, you know, maybe you'd wanna cross thread some of those other ones. Okay. All right, so looks like this ring right here basically just helps seal the lens because there's some open areas where I guess you can get it in there some more, uh, probably for disassembly. All right, so as I mentioned before, there's this little area right here, this little like ridge line that goes across here, and that's where this double-sided tape started. So I'm gonna try to just line it back up with that perfectly as I can, and then just, oh, watch out, just wants to try to seat it right in between the ridges there. I just definitely want this to adhere well because it does contribute to the sealing on the lens. All right, so I'm just gonna go through, I'm gonna just rub this in here because I wanna make sure it's got a good seal. 
if everything goes well, we can just slide this ring over. I just feel like once you've taken something apart a little bit, it really demystifies it, you know? I, I feel like I'm always a little intimidated to maybe take something apart for the first time. But once you kind of figure it out, you're like, oh, that's how that works. That's not that crazy. Let's hope that this ring doesn't stretch out too much. But obviously it had to go on before, so it'll help sit in here. Okay, it's falling in the groove there. Get it seated back in there. Nice. Should be able to... Ah. There we go, guys. Still gonna have to spend a little bit of time just getting the UV filter off of this old ring that broke off, but I'm not gonna have you guys suffer and follow along with that. It might take a little bit of uh, finessing to get that loose. But uh, there's how you replace the front all again. Filter screw block assembly on the Sony 135mm G Master. I did this repair for $158. Able to reuse that tape in there. It was just probably the hardest part was just reseating that little o-ring or seal. It's, I guess it's not really quite an o-ring because it's kind of beveled but that little seal in there was a little bit of a pain but other than that it was a pretty straightforward process. My only thoughts are if you have some little like plastic wedge tools, it's kind of really helpful to get this focus ring. It's a rubber, but it's kind of, it fits in there real snug, so you need something to kind of just pry it up carefully and not scratch your lens. And then just having a small set of screwdrivers and making sure that you have a good fit on those screws because if they don't, there could be a tendency to maybe strip the screw. But other than that, it's a pretty straightforward process to fix this lens. So now I can put my 135 millimeter G Master back into service, fully functional for $158 instead of having to send it into Sony or somewhere and spend three to four hundred dollars to do a simple repair like that. Anyway, I hope you guys found this useful. And if you guys have any thoughts or tips, please share them below.